grateful like I ain't fuck you. Nah. Break the house down like it's rubble. Been getting money, but nigga, I'm humble. What's going on, guys? It's Brandon with River City Records again. Welcome to episode two. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the many techniques used in widening and fattening your vocals in the mix. Um, the final effect of this is going to be kind of like a coursing effect slash split harmonizer. It's pretty simple to get, so I'm going to try to keep the tutorial pretty short and straight to the point. With that being said, we got a vocal by my boy The Native again. It's a song called Live featuring Lambs. I'll put the final song in the description below. But I'm going to go ahead and play the vocal. It's completely dry. Um, the only thing I got is some simple EQing and compression going on over here, but other than that, it's completely dry. So here we go, and then we'll talk about the effect. Act the fool like I ain't fuck you. Break the house down like it's rubble. Been getting money, but nigga, I'm humble. All right, so the first step in getting this effect is you're going to open up your um, the mixing tab up here. And then you're going to create two new auxiliary tracks. To do this, you're going to click Option, Create New Aux Track. Then you're going to do that twice. And then on these two new aux tracks, you're going to make both their inputs any bus you'd like. I'm going to do bus one just for the sake of this video. To do that, you're going to click right here, scroll down to bus, and choose bus one, and it looks like it's already chosen. <clears throat> so um, the next step is you're going to put uh, Logic Stock Pitch Shifter on, on both of these aux tracks. Um, any pitch shifter that you can pitch with by sense will work. And then I like to bring these two next to each other so I can work on them at the same time. We're going to bring both the semitones down to zero. You're going you're gonna to pitch one of the sense up to positive 10 and the other one down to negative 10. It doesn't matter which one you choose. And then you're going to bring the mix up to 100 on both. And then on one of them, you're going to click this arrow right here. And then you're going to bring the delay up to 14 milliseconds. Again, it doesn't matter which one you choose to put the delay to 14 milliseconds. Uh, by doing this little step, it's just going to make it a little bit wider at the end. And then already, we're pretty much almost done with this setting up this effect. The last couple steps is you're going to pan one hard left, one of the aux tracks hard left, the other one hard right. <clears throat> and then um, the final step is you're going to send the main vocal track to the input of the buses, so bus one. Then as you ride this fader up and down, you'll be able to hear the effect come in uh, pretty pretty significantly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll ride the fader up and down, and then you guys will be able to tell the effect when it comes in. So here we go. Act the fool like I ain't fuck you. Break the house down like it's rubble. Been getting money, but nigga, I'm humble. Act the fool like I ain't fuck you. Break the house down like it's rubble. Been getting money, but nigga. So it's a pretty, pretty significant effect. I'll go ahead and play it without the effect once, then I'll play it with the effect. So here it is without. Act the fool like I ain't fuck you. Break the house down like it's rubble. Been getting money, but nigga, I'm humble. And here it is with the effect on. Act the fool like I ain't fuck you. Break the house down like it's rubble. Been getting money, but nigga, I'm humble. And if you guys, um, it's a personal preference thing, but if you think that sounds a little too unnatural, you can come back to these pitch shifters and then you can turn the mix down to anything that you would like. Some people like it as low as 25%, but it's all up to you. Uh, like I said, it's a pretty short tutorial today. That's all I got, so stay in touch, guys.